Hi, Tableau Extracts are one of the most powerful tools that Tableau introduced. Understanding Extracts is a very important step in learning Tableau. In this video, we will do deep dive in Extracts in order to understand how they work and why they are very fast. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any content and it motivates me to make more videos. My coffee is ready and we start right now. Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Baraz Alkini and I am a T-Architect. In Tableau, we have mainly two different types of connections, live and extracts. With the live connections, you are connecting your dashboard directly to your source system, to your data, which means any interactions on the dashboards, it's gonna generate a query to your source systems and then the source system gonna work on it and then reply with the data back to the dashboards. But live connections have many problems, like the speed of your dashboards can really depend on the networking between your source systems and the dashboards. It's gonna depend as well on the source system itself, the speed of the database. Those factors could lead to bad performance in Tableau. Now Tableau introduced another connection type called extract. Once you create an extract, you tell Tableau to take a copy of your data or a subset of your data and load it inside Tableau. So Tableau has its own copy and all the interactions that you have on your dashboards will be directly done on this copy, which means, for example, if you start your dashboards, Tableau gonna send a query internally to this copy, to the extracts, and the extracts gonna like answer with the data back to the dashboards. With this way, Tableau will not bother the source systems. That means there will be no traffic between your dashboards and the source systems. Tableau has all the information and everything gonna be done inside Tableau. There is a lot of reasons why you would use extracts, but the main reason of having extracts is speed. Yeah. Using extracts to optimize your analysis on your dashboards is a king. So now the questions why Tableau extracts are fast. What Tableau is doing with those extracts in the background, which improves the performance of your dashboards. There is mainly two reasons for that. It's the designs of the extracts. The first aspect is the fact that Tableau extracts are loaded in the memory, which makes everything's fast. The second aspect is the method of storing data inside those extracts. Tableau is using the methods of column store. Column store are extremely efficient for executing queries, which makes it great for data analytics and working with big data. Let's understand now what is column store and how Tableau stores data in extracts. As I heard first that Tableau is implementing the column store inside extracts, it made me really happy because this technique is the future of analytics and the BI compared to the traditional databases where the data are stored inside row. This technique called row store. This feature, the column store, is the key why Tableau has great performance if you compare it with any other tools in the market when you start working with big data. Now, in order to understand the column store, I'm going to show you a very simple example. In the left side, we have here the row store. It is the traditional way of storing data inside tables. So here you have, for example, three columns and the data are stored inside the rows. The result of that, that this table gonna be stored in a database or in one file. So there is nothing new here. But on the right side, we have the column store, the Tableau extracts. So what's gonna happen, Tableau gonna split this table into multiple columns. So the order date gonna be stored in one column, the product as well in another column, and the quantity as well. So here, instead of having one big table, Tableau gonna split that into columns, and each column gonna be stored in one file. So in this case, we have three different files. As you might already noticed, those columns stores no duplicates. That means the size of those columns are small compared to the one on the row store. So for here, for example, on the product, we have the TV only once. But here in the products and the row store, we have it twice. That means the size of those columns are compressed, which has a big benefit for the performance and reading those information. Now, in order to choose between row store and column store, there is usually trade off between two things. Either you want to write fast into your data or you want to read fast from your data. You cannot choose both of them. So you need to decide, should I be fast in reading or fast in writing? 
So in this example, we're going to write new data. Let's say that we're going to insert this new record in both row store and column store. With the row store, you can insert the whole record in the table with only one single write. But with the common store in extract, things are more complicated with writing because Tableau is going to check all those columns in all files in order to find out should I do insert or not. So first Tableau is going to start with the order date. Tableau is going to check do we have this date inside the column or not. And in this case, this date is a new date. So Tableau is going to do one write operation in order to insert it inside the column order date. Next, we have the product. We have here the same situation. Monitor is a new product. So Tableau is going to check it and do one write operation in order to insert the monitor inside this column. And at the end, we have here the quantity. Tableau is going to check the column in the extracts and will not do any write operation because we already have the 30 inside this column. So as you can see in this example, writing to the column store is much more complicated than writing in row store. In row store, things are easier. You have here in this example, one write operation and that's it. But with the column store, we have here two write operations and as well, all those logics of checking the columns and so on. So writing new data in the column store is slower than writing to the row store and it needs more resources. Okay, guys, in the next example, we want to read some data. So let's say we have this query. We're going to count all the orders by order dates. With the row store, your query can access all the records in the tables in order to get these informations, which could cause a lot of unnecessary disk reads that might slow down your dashboards. With the column store, things are much faster because Tableau need here only one column, the order dates, in order to answer these questions and it's going to ignore all other informations. The data inside the order date is as well compressed, which is going to make the processing of those data much faster. And as well, Tableau is going to load all those informations in the order date inside the memory. Having your data inside memory makes everything fast. This means if you have query like calculations, aggregations, average, this could be done in seconds. So with all these factors, having the right data in the memory and not wasting your resources with unnecessary reads or data makes column stores an awesome technique to read and query big data. And it's way much faster than raw store. All right, guys, so now you understand the trade-off. Do you want to load your data fast or you want to have fast dashboards and analyzers? Tableau did decide to go with the column store because they want to deliver great performance in analytics. And they know that most of the projects now deals with big data, data visualizations must answer fast. That's what made Tableau Extract very unique and Tableau one of the best tools dealing with big data. And I think they made here exactly the right decision. All right, guys, if you check the last releases from Tableau, you might already notice that Tableau is doing a lot of developments in data sources. Like in 2020.2, Tableau introduced a new data modeling called relationships. You can check my other tutorial. I explain that in details. What I want to say is that learning extracts and working with data sources becoming very important in the futures with Tableau. That's why in the next videos, I'm going to explain the differences between live and extracts, when to use what, and how to optimize data sources using extracts. If this video helped you to understand Tableau extracts and why they are extremely fast, give this video a like. And as always, if you want to learn more about Tableau or working with data, click on subscribe so you don't miss any content. If you have any questions or you want me to cover any other topic, use the comment section below. Don't forget to check my other tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya.